Okay, so take two. Um, the take you didn't see is me getting it set up. So, got all the electronics turned on, including the arm. The uh, controller is paired, and I've already had to fight with it a little bit. That's the serial monitor, and you can see some of the stuff. So, I've got the limit set for uh, 150 and 200. It gives me a nice, should give me a nice safe zone. So with the controller like this, it doesn't um, do anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some video of the arm, and I'm going to tilt the controller left only until I hear the motors start, which should give a small fraction of a second. And I don't know if you heard 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 a click or not, but I tilted the controller to the left a little bit, and uh, the arm moved right. Um, and I set it down after maybe a tenth of a second, and there was several seconds of movement there. So we'll do it on the other side, and this time I will take a look at the um, serial monitor. So that's my problem. I'm sure you can hear the motors winding. You see where it is now. It moved almost 180 degrees from where it was on a tenth of a second of input. So I, I need to figure out how to deal with that because that's too sensitive for what I want it to do. I want to have pretty much real-time control of this arm. So if I move the control, well, if the controller is like this and I move it like that, I want it to move, and when I, you know, as soon as I turn it back to flat, I want it to stop. Which, the code kind of does that, it just, right now I've got four, five seconds of lag. So I need to figure out how to get rid of that lag.